Over the past few years, I've been asked this question over and over again, sometimes quietly, sometimes anxiously. They say, Dr. Lee, can COVID or the COVID vaccine cause or trigger atrial fibrillation? It's a fair question, and today we're going to unpack it. I'll break down what the evidence actually says and what I've seen in my own practice, and how to think about your symptoms if you've developed AFib after a COVID infection or after a COVID vaccination. Let's start with the virus itself. So can COVID-19 cause or trigger atrial fibrillation? Well, the answer is yes. COVID-19 can trigger atrial fibrillation, especially during the acute phase of the infection. See, when you get COVID, your body mounts a massive inflammatory response, which will include elevated cytokines, increased adrenaline, fever, dehydration, hypoxia, changes in blood pressure and oxygen levels. All of these factors can put tremendous stress on the heart, especially in people who already have underlying heart disease, such as high blood pressure or sleep apnea or an enlarged atrium. Now, Several studies have shown that AFib is fairly common in hospitalized COVID patients. Particularly, older adults are those with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions. But here's the key point. In many of those patients, AFib was likely a byproduct of stress, inflammation, and illness, not a unique or mysterious complication of the virus. So, that said, I've seen younger and otherwise healthy people develop new onset atrial fibrillation shortly after getting COVID, often as part of what's called a post-viral autonomic dysfunction issue. These patients often experience symptoms like a racing heart, fatigue, lightheadedness, and skip beats. So yes, COVID can absolutely be a trigger for atrial fibrillation. Sometimes the AFib resolves after the illness passes, other times it becomes persistent. So can the COVID vaccine cause atrial fibrillation? Well, this is where things get a little bit more controversial and where we need to separate fear from facts. First, the large scale vaccine trials, including those from Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson that were done on the vaccine did not show an increased risk of atrial fibrillation as a side effect. That said, once the vaccines were rolled out to millions of people, there were some individual reports of people developing atrial fibrillation or other arrhythmias shortly after the vaccination. The vast majority of these cases, however, were temporary and self-limited. So how do we make sense of that? Well, vaccines, including the COVID vaccine, do stimulate the immune system. That means they can lead to a temporary rise in heart rate, a low-grade fever, body aches, or inflammation. In people who are already prone to develop atrial fibrillation, this temporary immune response may be enough to trigger an episode, much like a cold or stress could. In other words, just because the vaccine triggered an atrial fibrillation episode doesn't necessarily mean it caused the underlying problem. Now, in my own practice, I've had a handful of patients report their first ever episode of atrial fibrillation within a few days of getting the vaccine. But every single time, one of them had a predisposing factor or factors such as borderline enlarged heart, untreated sleep apnea, high blood pressure, or years of skip beats before. So in those cases, the vaccine didn't create atrial fibrillation from out of nowhere. It likely unmasked a rhythm problem that was already brewing. So here's the bottom line. Both COVID infection and the COVID vaccine can be associated with atrial fibrillation episodes in rare cases, but through very different mechanisms. A COVID infection can cause a direct hit to the cardiovascular system through inflammation, oxygen shifts, autonomic dysfunction. That vaccine may act as a temporary stressor triggering symptoms in people who are already on the edge of developing atrial fibrillation. But if you're comparing the two, COVID infection is far more likely to cause heart rhythm issues, including atrial fibrillation, ventricular arrhythmias, myocarditis, which is an inflammation of your heart muscle tissue, and even stroke compared with the vaccine. If you developed atrial fibrillation after COVID or after a vaccination, you're not imagining things. 
and you deserve a thoughtful, non-dismissive workup. Not a brush off, not a panic spiral, just clarity and a path forward. So can COVID cause or trigger atrial fibrillation? Yes. Can the vaccine cause or trigger atrial fibrillation? Possibly in rare cases, especially in those already vulnerable to it. Should you be afraid? No, you should be informed. If you've had an episode of atrial fibrillation after either COVID or the vaccine, the key is to look beyond the trigger and figure out if there's an underlying pattern or risk factors that can be treated or even eliminated. That's exactly what I do in my second opinion consult. Dig deep, spend time, and help you find a plan that makes sense. If you're looking for answers or peace of mind, check out the link in the description below. I'm Dr. Scott Lee, and thank you for watching. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.